Last year, the skyrocketing price of lithium caused headaches for automakers. The price of battery-grade lithium carbonate rose from 280,000 yuan per ton at the beginning of the year to 600,000 yuan per ton by the end of the year, more than doubling in price. But do you know what was even crazier than lithium prices over the past year? It was the freight rates for car carriers. If lithium carbonate is the printing press on land, then car carriers are the printing press on sea. According to data, the freight rates for pure car and truck carriers, PCTCs, started to rise around July 2020, and by the end of June 2022, the price for a 6,500 car capacity PCTC had risen to $62,500 per day, up from about $20,000 per day at the beginning of 2021. By the end of December 2022, it had risen to $105,000 per day. Now that the price of lithium has come down, car makers are pleased, but freight rates for car carriers are still rising. In January 2023, the freight rate for a 6,500 car capacity PCTC had reached $110,000 per day, a year-on-year -year increase of 185.7%. Seeing it as a major obstacle to car exports, car companies naturally won't sit idly by. As a result, more and more car company bosses are deciding to become ship owners. BYD is one of the protagonists of Chinese cars going overseas market. When the huge demand for sea transportation could not be met, BYD directly spent money to build ships and set up its own transportation fleet. At the same time, it also bought eight freighters with a lot of money. At the financial report meeting for the third quarter of 2022, Tesla CEO Musk also complained, saying that currently every quarter's delivery is affected by insufficient transportation, not enough ships, and not enough trains. As we all know, the common modes of transportation for car export include ocean-going ROO ship, container ship, railroad transportation, and car transportation, while ROO ship is the most dominant one. It's reported that BYD and China Merchants Industry signed an order for four dual-fuel vehicle ROO ships with a capacity of 9,400 parking spaces. The total price of the order is around $400 million and deliveries are expected to begin in 2025. This dual-fuel car ROO ship has the largest loading capacity among similar ships in the world. The previous record was held by the Aurora-class ROO ship of Norway's Lenore shipping lines, with a loading capacity of 9,100 parking spaces. In addition, in October 2022, BYD ordered eight 7,700 space ROO ships at a shipyard in Shandong at a cost of nearly 5 billion yuan. So, why did BYD spend so much money to build a sea fleet? Can BYD earn back the billions spending on ships? At present, besides BYD, are there any other car companies in China that build their own fleets? Why did China's car exports suddenly become so high? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. In 2020, China's automobile export surpassed 3 million vehicles for the first time, reaching 3.111 million, a year-on-year -year increase of 54.4%. China surpassed Germany for the first time and became the world's second-largest automobile exporter, behind only Japan. In terms of countries, the top 10 countries for China's automobile exports in 2022 were Mexico, Saudi Arabia, Chile, Belgium, the Russian Federation, Australia, the UK, the Philippines, Malaysia, and the UAE. In terms of continents, China's main automobile export regions are Asia, Europe, and South America, with new energy vehicles mainly exported to Europe and Asia. The thriving demand for automobile exports has directly boosted carmakers' demand for car carriers, as sea transport is the main channel for automobile exports with market demand rising and capacity increasing limited in the short term, freight rates for car carriers have soared.
In fact, BYD is not the first Chinese car company to build its own fleet. Saic also has its own fleet. In January 2022 Saic ordered two 7,600 space ROO ships. In November, it issued an international bidding announcement, planning to build seven 8,900 space multifuel car carriers, which will be delivered in batches in 2025 and 2026. The overseas export business of BYD and Saic is very hot. In November, BYD Auto exported 12,318 passenger cars, and the cumulative export from January to November was 44,596. Saic Motor has exported a total of 697,000 vehicles in 2021, and this year's target is 800,000 vehicles. In fact, in China, in addition to BYD and Saic, Cherry and NIO are also planning to order transport ships. Among the multinational car companies, Toyota Motor has its own shipping company Toyo Fuji Shipping, Hyundai Group has a logistics company Hyundai Glovis, and Nissan Motor has not only its own car transport company NMCC, but also its own terminal. So, why did BYD spend so much money to build a sea fleet? Can BYD earn back the billions spending on ships? First of all, BYD is very serious in buying ships this time, which is not only reflected in the huge investment, but also reflected in the fact that BYD does not stop at the buying link. BYD has set up a special team to make continuous efforts in the shipbuilding and shipping links. This really confirms the former BYD CEO Wang Chuanfu's words to ensure the stability of the global supply chain. In the future, BYD is likely to directly start from the manufacturing side to stabilize the supply chain. Secondly, the type of ship purchased this time is a dual fuel ship. The dual fuel ship can switch flexible and changeable power modes according to different usage scenarios, and in a true sense realizes high endurance and low cost value transportation. To put it simply, if the fuel storage tank of a transport ship is regarded as a whole battery, then the energy density of a dual-fuel ship should be significantly optimized compared with that of a traditional LNG-powered ship. More importantly, behind the investment of more than 4 billion yuan, it further reflects the current desire of Chinese domestic auto companies to go overseas market. Beginning in 2021, the export data of Chinese automobiles will increase significantly. Perhaps because of the improvement of the epidemic situation, the car carrier market at home and abroad has obviously rejuvenated. According to official data, China's auto exports exceeded the 2 million mark in 2021, reaching 2,015 million units, a year-on-year -year increase of 100%, which is the first time that the number of domestic Chinese auto exports has reached such a staggering level. Therefore, Many Chinese automobile factories have begun to pay attention to domestic and foreign transportation problems and the reasons for the congestion of surrounding ports. If these problems are not improved or solved well, then there will be a certain period of time in the future, and the export road of Chinese cars will be extremely blocked. In addition to BYD, Saic, as the largest automaker in China, has also started planning. As of the end of 2021, Saic has operated a total of 31 car carriers through its logistics companies. Not only that, Saic has also ordered two 7,600 space dual fuel vehicles and three 7,800 space dual fuel vehicles at Jiangnan Shipbuilding, which have been used for vehicle transportation activities. These five ships will be successfully delivered and put into use around 2025. At present, there are about 700 car carriers in normal use around the world, but this number still cannot meet the growing market demand. Not only that, the introduction of new environmental protection regulations has also affected the scrapping rate of old ships in many shipping fleets. Therefore, it is necessary not only to meet the corresponding environmental protection emission requirements, but also to be able to respond to market demand as best as possible. Therefore, automakers around the world are trying to use their own transportation mechanisms to face possible challenges in the future. Okay, that's all for today.
Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.